Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. My name is Sam and I'm gonna be leading you through a short practice to help you work through some headache or migraine pain. So this will hopefully be a nice natural remedy for any pain or discomfort you're having in your head. I myself have definitely suffered in the past from tension headaches, from just a lot of muscle tension in my neck and in my upper shoulders. That's where I really like to hold a lot of my stress and sometimes that translates into pain up in my head. So we're gonna focus a lot on the upper body in today's practice. Feel free to have any blankets around you or cushions, just to add a little bit of extra support as we move through the flow. Um, really, the goal of this practice is just to alleviate any pain, so you wanna be as comfortable as you can be while we're trying to do that. And if at any point in the flow, something feels like it's a little bit too much, you can always ease off or take a child's pose. Just listen to your body and do what you need today is basically what I'm trying to say. We're gonna start in a seated position. So whether that's cross-legged, you could even be sitting on your heels in this pose, but just take a moment to inhale and just sit up tall and just acknowledge that pain that we're feeling in the head. So we don't wanna ignore it and push it down and just try to fight through it. We're acknowledging that it's there and we're gonna try and work with our body here to remedy that pain and to release some of that tension. And we're just gonna take a little neck stretch and I'm gonna mirror you here. So on an inhale, you're gonna grow taller. And then on an exhale, allow your right ear to fall towards your right shoulder. So stretching into the left side of your neck to start off. And just really let the head fall here so we feel that nice stretch directly on the side of your neck. And this might be enough, or you may wanna add your right arm up overhead. Just think of lightly guiding the ear away from the shoulder and not pushing down. So we're just intensifying the stretch that we feel here. And then again, you can also add your left fingertips reaching out along the mat. So this again, just creates a little bit more of a stretching sensation in the neck. You might even feel this all the way into your shoulder. And just continue to find a tall spine. And now from here, you're just gonna keep your head on the angle that it's at, but just turning your nose to face a little bit more towards the floor. And again, just guiding that head a little bit farther away. So we're just changing the stretch to come a little bit more into the back of your neck. So we're slightly stretching into the trap on the right, on the left side a little bit. And now you can let your left arm release and you can use your hand to help you just bring your head back up on that angle and keeping your chin to this side, you're just gonna lift it up towards the sky. Keep your shoulders as they are. So you're stretching through the front of the throat. As I'm talking, it's a little bit hard for me to feel the full range of this stretch, but for you, you can just let your head go as far back as it will, just letting that throat open up. Take one more breath here. We're not gonna hold this one for too, too long. And we come back, bring the, ch the chin back on that angle, and then we bring it back to center. We're gonna do that on the other side. So inhaling to grow tall. Exhale, sorry, your left ear falls towards your left shoulder. I'm still mirroring you here, feeling that lengthening on the side of your neck. And then again, we add that arm over top if you wish and just slightly guiding that ear farther away from your shoulder and then again if you'd like to further intensify just extending your right fingertips out onto the mat or onto the floor and just feel that space notice if the pain in your head shifts or Maybe it lessens or maybe it intensifies. Ease out of the pose if, if it does intensify, but try to, try to stay true to holding the posture in any way that feels comfortable. So really working through those muscles to try and release some of that tension. 
And just like we did on this, the first side, you're just gonna take your chin and bring it down on an angle towards your shoulder. That hand can stay guiding the head a little bit farther away from the shoulder. I really feel this on this side. I love to hold tension in my traps, as I mentioned, so this is a really, really good stretch for me to do if I feel that, that tension headache coming on. And making notes for yourself on how this feels. And just like we did on the first side, you can use your hand to help just lift your head. Your right arm can float back to your knee. And then keeping your chin on this angle, let's take an inhale and just bring the chin up to the sky. Nothing changes in the spine or the shoulders. We're isolating just the head. You can find that full stretch through the front of the throat here. Just taking one more breath and take that chin back to where it was level with the floor on the angle and then bring it back forward. Awesome stuff. We're gonna coordinate our breath a little bit more here. Just bringing your hands to a cactus shape out in front of you and feel as soon as you do that, your shoulder blades sliding down your back towards your opposite hips, like they're fitting into pockets here. And you can still see your, your elbows in front of you so they're not too far out to the side. And we're just gonna take a couple of rounds of like a seated cat and cow. So on an inhale, you'll breathe your chest up towards the sky, your elbows come back behind you, you your gaze lifts ever so slightly. And then exhale, we're gonna curve, pull your belly button in, elbows come together and we contract. And then again, inhale, lifting the head, opening up nice and wide, your shoulders stay down, plugging into those opposite hips and exhale, curve. Let's go twice more like that. Inhale, opening up the spine towards the sky. Exhale, curve, shoulders stay down away from your ears. Last one, inhale. And exhale. So now we inhale, you're going to extend both of your arms out beside you. Whatever leg you have crossed in front, if you're sitting cross-legged, you're gonna wrap that arm underneath, crossing once or twice. So coming to an eagle arm variation here. And then you're gonna inhale, bring the elbows up towards the sky. Exhale, just bow forward as far as feels comfortable for you today. And as I mentioned, if you have a cushion handy or a blanket, you can always rest Rest your elbows on that blanket or cushion, or if you prefer to just hang for it as I am here, you can do that as well. We're really aiming to find a stretch across the back of the shoulder blades. Nice and open, breathing deep. And on an inhale, we'll come back up to that seated position. Exhale, let's extend the arms. Inhale to grow taller. And exhale, let's release. We're just gonna switch, if you're sitting cross-legged, switching the cross of your legs. So now your opposite leg is in front. And once again, we'll inhale to reach the arms up. And then again, whatever leg you have in front on your exhale, that arm is gonna cross underneath. We inhale to grow taller. And then exhale, bowing forward as far as feels comfortable for you. As we're in this eagle arm variation as well, try to keep those shoulders plugging down away from your ears. So we're keeping long through the neck here, creating that space. Trying to give length to those muscles so they can release some of that tension and we can release some of that pain. Taking one more breath. And we'll inhale to come back up to center. Exhale, release the arms. Just like we did on the first side, we inhale to grow taller. And exhale, we release. We're gonna come to sit on your heels if you're not already there. And I'm just gonna turn to face the side because it'll be a little bit easier for you to see here. And we're actually just gonna come into a child's pose. So. I'm going to suggest bringing your knees together here. So we're going to stretch a little bit more into the spine and then your arms are just going to go behind you. So finding this nice child's pose 
Allow your spine to really curve over your legs. And just breathe into your upper back. Imagine that tension just releasing from your head, releasing from your shoulders and your neck. Melting off of you into the floor. We're gonna come into a little bit of an inversion from here. If it feels like it's too much for that headache you have today, you can just stay in this child's pose here. But if you'd like to progress, you're gonna grab the outsides of your ankles, coming into rabbit pose. So you're gonna lift your hips up off of your heels, rolling slightly onto the top of your head. And you may feel a nice stretch across the upper back here maybe into the shoulders. Just breathe into it here. Try to maintain, even though we're upside down here, your shoulders plugging down away from your ear, so we're still here trying to keep that nice long neck. And let's exhale, take the hips back down to the heels. We're gonna come into that same position. This time, trying to interlace your fingers behind your lower back. Again, if it feels like too much, you can come into either the regular rabbit variation or hanging on to this child's pose. But if you're progressing with me, we're gonna take an inhale, lifting the hips, extending the elbows, coming up onto the top of the head. And just notice how this feels with the blood flow coming into your head here. So we're in this very slight inversion. Just breathing into it. And we'll exhale, coming back down. And use your hands to help you go as slow as you need with no rush, coming back up to take a seat. And we just have one final pose to finish off our class, coming to all fours. Stretching a little bit more into the front of our shoulders here. You're gonna come into puppy pose. So walking your hands out in front of you. Make sure your hips stay over your knees. And then releasing your forehead down onto the mat. And just take a moment to really feel the contact of your head against the floor. And just allow that to soothe any pain that you might be experiencing here. Maybe if you're on your yoga mat, it feels a little bit cool and a little bit cushiony supporting your head here. If you'd like to progress further, you can bring the palms of your hands together, bending at the elbow so your thumb reaches towards your upper back, stretching into the shoulder blades, into the armpits, a little bit into the traps here. And your triceps. And just breathing into the stretch. And let's re-extend the hands out in front of you, lifting your forehead off the mat. Shift your hips forward till you come down into a little sphinx pose just for a moment. We did a couple of inversions there, so just reversing that action. Now we have our heart higher than our hips. Feel open and wide through the chest. Feel a nice long neck. And from here you can roll yourself forward. Bend your hands into your shoulders so we can push back, finding one final child's pose, bringing your knees together. And this time in this child's pose, let's walk our hands over to the right side of the mat. So just taking a really nice deep stretch through those extensors on the left side of your back. So your hands can come all the way off the mat here, finding a nice curve. And then we'll walk the hands back to center, repeating that, walking them over to the left this time, stretching into the right side of your back. And just allow your head, your shoulders to sink closer towards the mat. And now walk your hands back to center. And let's use our hands to bring ourselves back up to take a seat. And I'm gonna to turn to face you, crossing my legs. 
So I would highly recommend doing an alternate nostril breathing pranayama practice here. This is a breathing exercise that just is really good for balancing your body's energetic and passive energies. I have a separate video that just focuses on that pranayama exercise, so I will link it either in this video or in the description down below. But if you have the time, I would highly recommend doing that little breath work and meditation as well. Um, but if not, thank you so much for practicing with me and please don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope your headache alleviates really soon so that I can see you on the mat again very soon. Have a great rest of your day.